1968, political and social changes rocked the nation, and a landmark study was launched, inspired by Lyndon Johnson's War on Poverty. The University of Michigan Panel Study of Income Dynamics has followed the changing family lives and economic fortunes of a nationally representative sample of American families for 40 years now. The study has tracked the same people and their children and grandchildren as they struggle to achieve the American dream, graduate from college, get jobs, buy homes, and establish families of their own. Over the years, this study has informed policymakers and others about a wide range of issues, including how much time U.S. parents spend with their children and how birth weight affects adult success. But economic issues have always formed the core of the study. Back in the 1960s, when the study uh, was uh, initially conceptualized, we as a nation uh, only had cross-sectional studies. That is, we knew at a point in time, say in the 1960s, what share of families were impoverished, so maybe say around 20 percent. But what we didn't know is whether those same 20 percent of families who are poor today are poor tomorrow. The study has shown that most Americans do not stay mired in poverty or steer a steady path to financial success. Instead, the average American family's economic status fluctuates quite a bit. And the panel study is the only uh, study that allows us to, to understand whether or not, in fact, economic volatility has changed. There are always economic volatilities. Individuals are losing their jobs, they're changing jobs, they're getting married, they're improving, they're getting increases in their pay, so their economic status is changing. Uh, but the evidence that we have today, in fact, is that the, the volatility is greater today than it was decades ago, and, and the study is the only uh, source of that, that information. The study is so important that the National Science Foundation has included it in a group of the top 50 projects the agency has funded. It's the only social science study on the list, which includes Doppler radar, DNA fingerprinting, and the Hubble telescope. The brainstorm of UM economist James Morgan, the study is conducted by the UM Institute for Social Research. ISR interviews more than 65,000 people from three and even four generations of some 8,000 U.S. families. The study team depends on a highly trained group of field interviewers. Lorraine Kelly has been working as an ISR field interviewer in central Massachusetts for nearly 20 years. I love my people. I uh -huh. mean, they know me, of course, because it's a longitudinal study. Right. Um, they're expecting me. You know, we, we have some kind of communication going. Sure. And our job is to try to persuade them because it's really important research, and especially longitudinal studies, because we're trying to find out the changes every wave, and, and we don't want to lose them. And people get tired of doing it. I mean, I'm very lucky. Most of my people just say, oh yeah, I know, we'll do it. But once in a while, you know, you'll, you'll get somebody reluctant. And, and that's a challenge to me, even, even though I've done it for 17 years. It's still a challenge when somebody just says, I don't want to do it. But if you back off, wait, be patient, you usually will get good response. The study has inspired similar projects around the world. One of these is the British Household Panel Survey. Economist Maria Yakovu, one of the visiting scholars, briefed her Michigan colleagues on poverty among young Europeans. The genealogical design of the PSID, where we follow individuals and their descendants, allows us to understand also the intergenerational transmission of well-being. Americans have thought that uh, we have been a society where individuals pull, pull themselves up by their bootstraps, that in fact family background is not a major determinant of one's well-being as, as an adult. And uh, results from the, uh, from the panel study have found that in fact the economic status of the family that you're born into is very is highly predictive of the economic status that you will attain as an adult. 
Looking at issues like economic mobility across countries as well as generations, the University of Michigan study has challenged a fundamental assumption about the kind of place America really is. Thank you.